Yo, what's up, mi gente? What's good? What's going on? It's me, Astuleta. You know how we do it. It's Astuleta time where we talk about topics on contemporary art. So, like I said, I asked some people a couple of, you know, a little while ago, like, um, if you got questions about contemporary art, you ask me. Astuleta. That's why it's called Astuleta. And, you know, some people are taking advantage of the opportunity to ask me questions. Some people aren't. I'm not really sure why, but I'm, I'm down. Like, yo, like, ask me for real. Like, you could, yo, yo, son, I'm on Twitter. Okay. Yo, Twitter me. Like, Chuleta73, you, you know, you can hit me up on Twitter. Um, You know, check me out on Facebook. I got my little page, my little situation. Whoop, what's up? What's really good, you know? And what, whatever. So, like, check it out. All right. So, one one person asked me um, to talk about uh, collectors. And, like, that's kind of like a question um, that, this, that, this, that this lady had about collectors and, like, about pricing artwork and stuff like that. And so, like... You know, y'all know, like, I'm always interested in looking these kind of things up and going out there because I'm I'm making it my business. You know, I told you I'm going to be, I'm wearing my glasses. Yo, peep the stilo. I'm saying, um, I, you know, I'm saying, like, I, I, um, because I made it my business to, like, look up, like, to be all involved in art. You know, we talked about the curator, right, the person who puts together the shows. We talked about the critic, the person who it basically evaluates and determines whether or not a, a show is dope or if it's like just whack and bullshit and don't bother go seeing it. Or, you know, and that, that basically and that person could make or break a career. So, like, all right, most people don't really give a shit what the fuck a critic says, right? Because you're not really thinking about that. You're like, fuck it. I got bills to pay. I got to, you know, get my child support for my stupid deputy husband or whatever. Um, So you're not really thinking about that. But, you know, like... The artists, they need, they, it's, like, it's like a, it's like a, like a, like a, like a, like a triangle, right? So, like, you have the, 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 the curator that puts the shows together. Then you got the, um, the critic that goes and sees the show and writes an article, whatever, and tells people whether or not the show was good to go see it. And then you got the people that buy the art. That's the reason why artists start making art so they can sell it in the first place. Because the collector is the person that they go and they buy the work. And who are they looking at? They're looking at the curators and the critics. If the critics says the show is dope, they're gonna go out. They're gonna they're gonna decide like whether or not they like the show, they like the art, and they're the one with the loose son. That's like kid, you know. So the collector, they base their they they base basically it's like the same way you be buying fashion and stuff. Like you you're gonna buy you're gonna like I know I keep going back to fact. Well, you know I like I like I like cute little shit. You know I got you know whatever. Um, so you, you know, the same way, like, you're going to buy something because it's going to be, like, like, worth something. You know what I mean? And, like, you're going to make, um, you're going to make an investment on somebody's future. Ah, it's like the stock market, kid. You're going to be investing in futures. Like, you put money in, um, and you're going to, like, um, you basically going to be, like, it's kind of, not like, it's not like gambling. Well, it's kind of like gambling. It's not like you're going to like to like Atlantic City or like you're going to be going to like Las Vegas, but it kind of is, but it's kind of not like, all right, let me, okay, let me try to break it down a different way. Like, it puts you like this. It's like, I'm going to buy artwork on this, this person's artwork because so-and-so liked it and whatever, they got good reviews. I'm going to watch that. I'm going I'm to peep that for a bit. And then, um, I'm going to throw on a couple of bills on that and then buy it. And then hopefully like, you know, you keep, you know. You're going to keep growing. It's basically very, very kind. It's kind of risky. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, if people got money, they're going to spend. If people don't got money, they're not going to spend. Or if they're going to spend, they're going to be like any other like any other motherfucker. Like, you're going to be a little bit like, you're going to be a little bit more frugal. You're going to be, a, you're going to make a conservative purchase. And you're going to buy a piece of artwork that, like, maybe it's not going to jump in value my quick but you know that it's you're not going to lose money if you try to sell it see and that's where you got places like the auction the art auction you know they always you know like you see them cheesy movies and you see like people bidding you know like you wonder how it is that you could get a painting that's like like a million dollars it's because of this it's like that like the per, the artist you got so you got so like the artist it puts my pressure on the artist like let's say you got people looking at you you got niggas paying attention to you now you got to keep making sure your artwork is dope so that more people could be buying and you want to make sure your name keeps growing and growing and growing, right? And then, like, because then if you don't, if that shit just falls flat, then motherfuckers are going to start dumping shit overboard. Like, they don't want your shit. They're going to try to sell it or whatever. And then, like, you see what I'm saying? It's, like, it's kind of fucked up. It's, like, I don't know. Like, 
that's what I guess a little bit fucked up to me because I feel like you know I don't know it's like you're making like like a like a object I don't see I you know I need a minute to like to gather myself because like you know because then I feel like you know like art and then art as art you know what I mean like painting so you can feel better like you feel good you make art and you just and then there's art like like you're building a car or like you make a t-shirt like it's like I don't know, like art, like a product. I don't look. Like, yeah, well, eh. it all depends. It's, ugh, yo, it's like it's kind of like. See, all right, it gets a little tricky, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ugh, you know what I'm saying? Like, um. Anyway, whatever. Look, the collector bases their purchase on whether or not somebody says is worth the risk to make buy the art or not buy the art and ultimately like you know it's up to you it's up to you like you got big 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 collections like sachi you know what i mean like and like you if you in the sachi collection or like you have like the, the your stuff gets like to the moma collection like that's it that's big time kid that's blue chip right there son that's it that, that's it that's that's dope that's what's up you know and you know most people and you could be a collector if you bought a piece of artwork off your cousin Pepo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's, I guess, you know what I mean? You buying, you just, whatever. But, like, you know, and once again, it's this thing about, like, well, who determines what's worth something, what's not worth something, what's it worth to you? If you got a couple of dollars, I think you should support whoever you want to support. You know what I'm saying? And, like, some people, they treat it like a business. Like, you know, you're going to buy and sell, like, trading stocks. Some people buy because they just really love art. And those critics, I mean, excuse me. Those collectors, those are the people I think are dope. That they just buy stuff because they buy stuff. Like, you know who's a dope collector? Yo, Cheech Marin. Cheech Marin has the biggest collection of Chicano art. Period. I'm saying. And you know, motherfuckers, we don't give a shit about Chicano art. I'm sorry, you're Mexicanos, but that's a, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying, like, we don't care, but there's a, you know, a particular demographic that ain't really, you know, trying to, ain't really trying to fuck with your shit. But if it wasn't for Cheech Marin and those folks that said, fuck it, I don't care what anybody else says. I'm going to do this because I need to do this. I need to collect this work because it's important, because it matters. Because if I don't do it, ain't nobody else going to do it. And, you know, who the fuck else going to go up in East LA and buy some Chicano art from some essay, right? Another Mexican. Go big up to Cheech Marin, I'm saying. Like, he ain't just a stoner, but that nigga right there, like, yo, he's... I'm saying. So, basically... You know, and you know, I'm always talking about like, yo, just do your own shit. Like, don't let nobody else, you know, sway you. You do you. You make your own choices. Whatever. Fuck it. You know. And you can start your own art collection. You know. I said, I got a couple of pieces. I got some stuff. A little something, you know, on the low low. Like, you know, buying little things here and there. Like, you know, like I got, you know. I don't know if y'all know this local. This, well, not really low. I can't really say that. Damn. You know, well, that artist James de la Vega, like, I got a couple of pieces of his, and that makes me feel proud. Like, I got that shit. I got some people art from, like, this artist. Yo, she's mad dope, has a heart. I got art from this artist who's now, he's a he's he's doing big things, son. This artist, Timothy Blum. Um, I got, uh, I got art, like, you know, you catch, catch the artists when they're young, and they want to share their work. And then watch, watch what happens. I even, I even got an art piece from from Wageshi Mutu. And you see, and y'all probably don't even know that shit, but that's that's just a, she's from Kenya. I love me some some Wageshi. I can't afford that shit right now, but you know, back in the day, boom. And now, so what? <laughs> so I guess you know what? I'm an art critic. I'm a collector, son. And you know, and whatever. And I'm doing my shit viral. Hello. So. All right, like I said, each one, teach one, pay it forward. So you like something, boo-boo, you go. You put your little money down or whatever. You buy a little stuff, and you become a collector. But that's how the situation with the collectors works. Anyway, I got to go. I got to go walk Donya. I don't know if you heard her before in the last video. She was barking. She don't know how to act. Anyway, I'll talk to you later, guys. Peace.